The ceremony is a signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Industrial Training Fund, the Nigeria Air Force and the Equipment and Protective Application International Limited for the establishment of the framework that would advance the NAF's research and development efforts. The institutions have pledged to work together in a bid to nurture a cooperative relationship among themselves which would ensure optimal performance and increased productivity. Speaking at the NAF headquarters in Abuja, the Director General ITF, Sir Joseph Ari, assured the other parties that the implementation of the MOU would be pursued with vigor and the seriousness it deserves. Ari pointed out that over the years, ITF had redirected its focus on skills acquisition, technical and vocational training at the developed countries are where they are today because of this initiative. The memorandum of understanding we have just signed, to my mind, will establish the framework by which our two parties will work together in an effort to nurture a cooperative relationship between our three institutions. This would definitely give room for optimal performance and also enhance productivity. And I want to seize this opportunity on behalf of my other partner from the Equipment and Protective Applications International Limited that you have dependable allies in us. We would pursue these aspects of the Memorandum of Understanding with vigor, with all the seriousness it deserves so that greater success would be the values that would drive our intentions. Responding, the Chief of Staff, who is visibly excited about the collaboration, is confident that the research deficits of the force will be addressed. It is important to note that collaboration with organizations such as Industrial Training Fund and Equipment and Protective Applications International Limited are necessary if we are to realize our objectives of moving the service and indeed the nation towards becoming technologically advanced. These organizations will collaborate with Nigerian force in areas such as human capacity development and production of security systems and personal protective equipment. I therefore believe that the signing of these MOUs will facilitate solution to our technical challenges, which will in turn translate into greater operational efficiency for the Nigerian Air Force. Highlights of the meeting is a signing of the MOU. Gabriel Kuma, Prompt TV News, Abuja.